Hello everyone, um, this is Alejandro Gomez with creatingwithali.com and today I'm going to be showing you three cards using the ridiculously awesome uh, stamp set which is really cool. I really like having all the large sentiments um, and I feel like this will be really nice. Um, you can use this one a lot with like the sand series paper. However, today I want to do something different and kind of pair it with different other products so that you can see what else you can do. And so, anyway, let's just get it started. So, um, also, um, just before I forget, I'm going to be releasing a card class next week using the Forever Fern. So make sure you are on my mailing list, which is going to be in the description of this video. Um, just make sure you are there so that you get access uh, or you get information about that card class. It's using my favorite suit, which is the Forever Fern. And um, also every Monday, I send a PDF with the links to the video tutorials and the sketches of the cards that we make here. So definitely uh, make sure you're that on that mailing list so you get that information. All right, so hi, Eva. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Let me see who's here. So Eva is here. Teresa, hi, how are you? Susan, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Lori as well and Carol. So thank you, thank you for joining me. So let's just get a start because I'm super excited. I honestly, at the beginning, um of these when i was putting together these cards or when i was thinking what i was going to be showing um i was kind of struggling first just to use the stamp set because i was thinking of the on the design series paper but then i thought well maybe i can show a different technique with this one which i usually don't do so i think that will be really nice so the first one we're going to be using it's the oh, uh, it's this one and I have already die cut as you can see here um, the letters faith which come from this image that said let your faith be bigger than your fear I thought that one was really nice as a sentiment and so definitely wanted to use this one now for this one as you can see here and I I use the brand new um, adhesives foam adhesives from Stampin' Up and so what you do is you pretty much peel this one and glue it to your, um, what is this, the glitter paper. And let me show you the glitter paper. Oh, here, it's just, let me just show you a little piece. So you pretty much just glue the adhesive and then run it through your uh, die cutting machine. And so you get the letters here, as you can see, right? Now, I really like these design series, um, this uh, glitter paper because you get different shades as you can see here so this is from last from last week and uh, here's another one right so you get lots of colors on that uh, glitter paper so kind of cool and so for the letters you can see here for the letters you can do it like so or like this right so you, if you want to get different shading pr probably doing that way but if you only want jello then you can cut them like that and let me just show you that alphabet the alphabet is coming from a different suite. I think it's Playful Patterns. I might be wrong, uh, but you can see them here. And this one is called Playful Alphabet. One of the cool things about this one is A, we get multiple letters of some letters. Like for instance, A, so you can actually make a phrase and use multiples. And the other thing that I thought was pretty cool is that they have the... Um, Oh my goodness, uh, the silhouette, right? So you know exactly what it is, so you don't have to be figuring out how to position. And also, it will help you see which is the letter that you're missing. So to me, I thought this one was amazing and super smart from Stampin' Up. <laughs> so anyway, so let me just go back. So I had already that cut those. The other thing that I'm using is I'm going to be using these. When I thought of Faith, for whatever reason, I thought about the sky. And so I'm gonna be pretty much using the same technique as we did last week. So last week I used the So Much Happy Bundle, which is using the happy dies. And I have already die cut this die, as you can see it here. So this is the same template that I used last week. And I thought it would be really cool to use that one. So let's get started with that. I don't know yet if I'm gonna be using Mellow Mambo or the, what is this called, or Coastal Cabana. So I have both and uh, we'll see what happens. You, you do know that I never have the card made, so it's always on the go. 
And uh, in this occasion, I don't even know if I want the pink or the teal or yeah, Mellow Mambo or the, um, what is the other color? Coastal Cabana. So let me just bring here a piece of scrap paper. And let's just position this one here. I'm gonna bring a pool party and I have my sponge. Now, these sponges are uh, from the round sponges that we sell from Stampin' Up. I cut a, a little piece, as you can see, and then I put a taff. Um, you can see that, uh, I, I think it has retired, I might be wrong, but uh, we used to have the circle round, and then before we used to have that one. So I, I put them in the color of the uh, color that I'm gonna be in the sponges, because that way I know exactly which one I need to use. So in this case, I'm gonna be using Pool Party. I have here my uh, my sponge and the color. And so I'm gonna start first with the edges here. Can you see? Yes. And the trick here is that when you're sponging, and I wanna put it here so you can see it. When you're sponging, you pick up the color, but then you uh, remove some of the color first on your paper, on your scrap paper, scratch paper, and then you do it on your template. And the reason I do that is because sometimes you get like smudges or I don't know how to say that, but um, like a little, like a darker uh, image. It's not, it's not as soft when you are um, sponging. So I try to do the first one out and then in. All right, so once I have that, I'm gonna move it. And in this case, I'm gonna bring this one like so. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna just stop to where the color starts. So I'm not gonna go all the way down. So like you can see this one goes all the way here, but I'm gonna stop till that point. That way it looks, um, actually on this one, I can actually go all the way through because this one kind of stopped right there. So um, we're gonna go all the way through there. Mm, yeah, like so. Hope that makes sense. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and and this one. Since I don't have anything, I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way through. All right, so I have that. Now on this one, I'm gonna go here, and this is the one where I'm gonna just stop till this point. I'm not gonna go all the way here, but just till that point, so that it seems like the next set of clouds are under, underneath or farther away, I don't know. <laughs> you do know that word sometimes is not my deal. <laughs> Uh, and I think that's why I always do video tutorials because if I were to put this in words in a written tutorial, see that? So it looks like it's under the set of clouds, right? So now for the following, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just move them a little bit. And same thing, I'm just going to stop to this point and then do the next set of clouds. Actually, I'm going to move this one more towards this. Yep. All right. All right. And I'm not going again all the way through, as you can see here. Same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and And I'm also doing um, like a circular motion, as you can see. But I think really the key is just to make sure you um, take some of the color first on your scratch paper. So there we have it here. 
Now for this section, I'm gonna go a little bit like so. This one, I'm going to go ahead and do like that. Uh -huh. And then on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and do... Um, Let's see, I think I should have done the middle first, but hopefully it looks okay. You can always fix it, you know? Oh, well, it looks good. How about that? <laughs> All right, so now that I have that section, I just need to remove that little piece of a sponge. I think I have to be replacing that sponge. So once I have that, so this is how it looks I have the full sky here all right so now I'm gonna bring so this is where I thought I want to have this one do you have the faith oh thank you thank you but I'm glad you're liking it so I have faith here so I'm gonna be putting it somewhere like so all right yep I think this one goes that way there you go. So I'm going to put here that let your faith and then have bigger, be bigger than your fear. That's what I am picturing on this one. And like I said, I fell in love with this sentiment. So, it want, so I know where it is. So I'm thinking, so this is more for me to have like a visual, right? So I have it somewhere here. So I'm going to put here my first part of the sentiment and then this section. Okay. So... Oh, glad you're liking it. Thank you so much. So now for that one, when I have something like this, you can just color the uh, part that you want to do. So in this case, I'm going to be using uh, basic black because I want those words in black. Oh, and I did never set that measurement. So make sure you remind me to set measurements after I'm done with this part. Um... And I'm just using the brush pen of the, of the, um, what am I saying here? Of the uh, marker. Oh, thank you, Lori. <laughs> All right, so here's where this one will go. Like I said, I have now here the letters. I just need to see how much space I have here, just to give me again an idea of where I need to be stamping the rest. So somewhere here, I want to put it, right? So around this part. And before you do that, though, you need to make sure you clean well your stamp. Because otherwise, you're going to have the uh, previous part stamp as well. So you just need to make sure it is very clean. Yeah, we're good. And now we're going to be doing this section because I did the faith with the uh, letters. So we're going to have that one with, again, doing the same thing. And I felt, I really like this sentiment so much. I think this was the my favorite one from that. Because this one really can go for so many occasions, you know. We have a, a friend at work who's going through a difficult time right now. And I think that this card will just go perfect for her. So like I said, I'm going to be putting somewhere here. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. And then uh, have that here. 
and we've got that. Uh, same thing, let's go ahead and clean it well. And so now it's time for us to put these things. Well, before I do that, so let me just go now over measurements because we never talk about that. I went straight into doing it. <laughs> Forgot about that. So this one is five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. We have a piece of basic black and this one is four by five and one quarter. So this one is gonna go right here. We're gonna be putting it like so. There's only one eighth right there. And um, let me add adhesive. By the way, I used the stamp uh, seal and it was um, really cool. However, I finished it out already. And guess what? The fast fuse it, uh, gets well there. So I'm using that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, the stamping seal, the new adhesive that we have, really cool. Very excited with that one. As I mentioned, I think it was in my past video um i'm very excited because we have now another um alternative and so definitely i will be using that one as soon as i run out of my fast fuse but you all know that i still have a lot of it so now this is the melon mambo and this is where i don't know if i want maybe the melon mambo goes well because the letters are really more pinkish right and that, that will give a little bit of contrast. Um, just put this one here, right? Let's just see, this one looks nice. And this one, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Melon Mambo. I think the Melon Mambo brings out that uh, the letter. So this one is Melon Mambo, eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna fold it in half. Where is the bone folder? Here it is, I'm like, where is the bone folder? Yeah, that's true, Eva. I think this sentiment goes really well for the times we're going through. Absolutely. Absolutely. And like I said, this is why I I love that sentiment. I just think that you can use it for so many occasions, honestly. So, definitely, definitely great sentiment. All right, so we're going to be putting this one here. And so now I'm just going to peel off the letters. Um, I'm going to be using the take your pick for a second so so that I can kind of see where I want it, I think. Yeah, I think right here it goes well. Oh, my hand is shaking. How about that? What up with that? <laughs> uh, faith. Oh. Mm hmm. All right. And then I'm going to be putting this one right here okay does that not look really nice now um to embellish this car i'm going to be using this one which is what is this uh the sheer ribbon and i believe what no this one comes by itself the sheer ribbon i thought it was part of the playing with patterns playing with patterns have another one so if you don't have this one you can use that one as well but i guess this one it's by itself so this is the sheer ribbon and pole party oh okay and for yeah i thought for a second it was part of that playful um patterns but i guess it's not so i'm just going to be doing a bow thank you teresa i'm glad you're liking it And I just want a small bow. I don't want a huge bow. There we go. I think this is a good size. And I'm going to be putting this one right here. I love that it is um, It's a see-through ribbon. So 
There we go. I like that one better. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and here. And one of the things that I like is I want like I will use this one over and over, right? So just uh, you save it. You don't have to be cutting it over and over. You just use the same. Um, where is the glue though? It's over here. So definitely save your templates because you can use them multiple times as you so. This is the same template that I used last week for the same for the other cards where I used the bows. There you go. So we're gonna be adding this one. Does that not look really nice? I think so. And then um, we can see if maybe adding, I don't know if I wanna add uh, rhinestones or, well, those will go really nice. Just to add something else, do you think? And these are called, what are these called? Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequence. Yeah, I think this one go actually really well with that one. Cause this one will, yeah, you kinda lose them. So I'm just gonna add like three of them. I think. Don't you don't you think? Just to get something else on this. Just to sprinkle them. Hmm. So I'm gonna be putting like one here. One right there. And then one here probably. Actually I want it here. There you have it. I don't want to be putting that many. So I use with three. And there you have it. What do you think, huh? So really simple, really nice. But I think that it goes really well. Really like it. So anyway, so this is card number one. And let's just go with card number two now. Let me bring this one out. Now for the second one. I want to use the one that says, you are my sunshine. I thought that one's also really nice. So let's use that one. Um, so this one is Coastal Cabana for the car base. And that one is eight and a half by five and a half. Let me just move those away here. And um, let's see measurements here. So this one is five by three and three quarters. And this one is um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So this one is gonna go like so. And the this one is, like I said, Coastal Cabana, five and a half by eight and a half. And so it's gonna go like so. All right, so now for this one, I wanted to do something different and I wanted to use, let me see if I have the stamp set here so I can show it to you. It's not a new one is the dandelion wishes and i want to use this images so i'm going to be using this one thank you yolanda i'm glad you're liking it now for this one i have it already mounted here i'm going to be using embossing again i'm trying to do some sort of a cool technique <laughs> and um and so for this one i'm going to be using the embossing body and I need a scrap of paper here. Hold on, let me just get another scrap of paper here. Uh, oh my goodness. Hold on, because I am losing everything here. Just give me one second, sorry. Everything fall on the other side of my room. So I'm gonna be using this. All right, so scrap paper. And I'm gonna go and rub this one all the way on my paper. And this is gonna help me to ensure that I don't get any of the embossing powder anywhere but on the ink. I'm gonna be using the Versa Mark and I'm gonna be uh, embossing it on white, on Whisper White. So, it should be enough. So I have here the Bursa Mark. So this is gonna get loud, but um, I almost never show embossing. I love the embossing, but I almost never show it on, on the Facebook Lives. And I think that this is one of those um, techniques that we all love. <laughs> I just never use it so much. 
So I'm going to be putting it like so here. Oh my goodness, Eva. So this is great for you. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, so I'm just making sure everything is well stamped. And I'm going to take it off. You cannot really see it, I'll be honest. Let me just see. Yep. I mean, you can see it only, uh, like you can see it, but I don't think the camera will pick up that. And then I'm going to bring the embossing powder. Hi, Linda. And I'm going to, um, what is this? All right, so now I'm going to be adding the embossing powder. Uh, and so you can see it uh, stayed where the ink was, right? Now, let me put everything back on the jar before I bring the heat tool. Now, you need to use a heat tool, not a, um, what is the hair, hair drying machine, right? You need to make sure you use a heat tool for this technique. Because it needs to warm up the powder to where it melts it on your paper. Now you also have to be careful to not um, to not um, burn your um, fingers. I've done that. <laughs> so all right. So now we're gonna bring here the embossing tool. Um, All right, so it melted the powder. What I love about the one from Stampin' Up! is like a really fine and you can see all the details and now you can see how nicely it shines, right? So now let's bring back our um, scratch paper. Now on this one, I'm gonna be stamping, I'm gonna be um, sponging the flowers and then the edges just to add more that way it pop pops more that embossing i mean you can see it now but i don't think you can really see it for a card right so definitely let's add some color what did i do yeah here it is so i'm gonna bring the um pool party again and similarly as with the other one we're gonna make sure that we remove the ink first and then put it on your paper that way you don't get those like you don't want to have this type of I don't know how to say that, but the color, right? You want it to be more of a smooth. And hopefully I, it's already, yeah, it's already cold. And so you're just gonna go ahead and, and sponge it. Again, you remove color first and then you put it on your paper. And as you can see, I do a circular motion. And I'm gonna put as much as I want just to make it um, darker. And you can make it as darker or as lighter as you want. I feel like darker will be nice just so that those um, dandelions looks better. So you can see them much, much better. It takes a little bit longer, but we'll get there. Again, I'm gonna be making them a little bit darker. Hmm. Okay, you can see them right now. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that. 
I feel like that's dark enough for me. And now I'm gonna bring the uh, daffodil delight because uh, yeah, there's a sunshine, there needs to be some jello. At least in my head, that's what I thought. So same thing, I have a sponge. This is an older one, as you can see, <laughs> but it still works. And so now I'm gonna add the color on the on the outside. And I'm trying not to go too much into the blue because then it becomes uh, green. And I don't want to have a really green color there. I really want to have the blue and the yellow, but not so much of the green. I mean, it's okay to have some of it, to have a kind of like a blend, but not too much. At least I, I don't want to go for that look. If you want to go for that and this is what i mean when i don't take as much ink you can see here how it looks like darker it's fine i mean it doesn't look bad but i prefer not to have that kind of a dark area so and you can see i have kind of like same i should have removed a little bit more but that's fine like i said it doesn't look bad it's just i prefer to have more of a softer look Hmm. All right, so I have that. That's how it looks. I'm going to bring now the Stamparatus. Hold on. Where's the Stamparatus? And the reason I wanted the Stamparatus. Uh, let me see, where is the sentiment? Um, have it already playing with that one. Um, it's because I want to make sure I have a dark, like I want this one, let me just put this one right here. I'm gonna put that one right here. And I'm gonna be putting this one, let me see, maybe here. Why am I putting this one like right there? There you go. So, and the reason I'm putting that um, sentiment right now, put this one like right here, um, on the stamp is because I want to make sure I have a dark uh, sentiment. And sometimes when you are um, stamping, especially like a bold, um image sometimes you don't get that a true black and definitely i don't want to have or take the chance so if i need to i can put again more of the black or i can re-ink and stamp again right so there we go i'm going to be using the memento ink but you can do this with any color i just wanted to have the black And see, like, it needs a little bit more, right? I don't know that you can see it here, but it feels like it needs a little bit more. And so this is why I wanna, I wanted to put the um, the stamp out is because I can go back, re-ink, and stamp again, and have it exactly where it is, without fearing that it's moving or something like that, right? So, see? Oh yeah, perfect. I love it. So. This is how it looks. We're going to be adding. Oh, let me just clean this one. Because I'm going to be using. So the shiny really makes it really great. Uh, 
Um, all right. We're gonna put this one here. So first we're gonna be, and see how it looks really nice with the black line that I have here. Now you could also do a black um, cardstock and emboss it in white and then kind of sponge it with white to get like the shock board, the shock, shock board uh, technique or look. Um, I just, I, I, I feel like we've seen so many of those uh, cards that I thought, okay, let's try something different. And this is why I wanted to show you with the um, sponging. There we go. Let's just go ahead and put this one. We're going to embellish this. Okay. All right. Same thing here. We're going to be uh, folding in in half. Where's the bone folder? We're going to go ahead and put it like so. And you can see how it starts looking really nice. <clears throat> so today is all about the sponges, right? So we're going to be putting it here. All right, and then I thought, let's just add some rhinestones on that area. Um, I felt like it would be nice to bring the um, rhinestones and then just color two of the large ones. And this is the Bermuda Bay, the dark Bermuda Bay. So I'm just clean, um, what it is, uh, coloring them. Because these are alcohol markers, you get them uh, color. One thing, you have to be careful, do not be too rough because you can damage the tip of your blend. So definitely don't, so be gentle with it. And these are gonna go on the, um, on the uh, centers of the, of the dandelions. Of these flowers, I guess. All right, so let's just take one. I'm gonna take the other one. I'm gonna take the little one for this one. All right, so we have those. And then um, I thought maybe we could add like some of these as well, right? And in this case, I want to use the um, yellow and same thing as the other one i might just put like three oh do i have like double oh yeah like this one and maybe one other here and there we have it i don't i typically feel like if you put in multiple in odd numbers like either three or five or seven, it looks better than when you put it in pairs and uh, yeah, in even numbers. So, oh, there you go. So you're so glad you got that a stamp set. Uh, yeah, so definitely it's a good one, right? I like that. So this is card number two and I already lost card number one. Oh, here it is. Oh, you know what? No, I forgot a bow. It would be nice to have another bow here, don't you think? I'm like claiming it, it's done and it's not. So let's just add a little bow as well. Hi, Pamela. All right, so let's just add this one. Hi, Kay. I'm glad you're making it. Oh my goodness, I don't like how it's looking that one. So let's just do it again. There we go. I'm gonna make it smaller again. There we go. Yeah. I feel like this one is too long, so you just need to be playing a little bit with it. 
until it is the size that you want. Yep. Perfect. I like that. So now let's just cut the ends. And, um, hmm. I always lose the blue dots. I mean, I use them here. I'm like, I just used them in the previous car. I always lose them when I'm on the live. There we go. And I like that because it's a uh, sheet ribbon, you can see through. So even if it covers something of the sentiment, you're going to still read it. Hi, Anne. How are you? All right. So that's card number two. Um, so here is card number one for those of you who just joined. And this is card number two. I mean, they look really nice now. So now let's go with the final card. And I feel like I already lost one of the pieces here. Oh, here it is. So the next card is using the gorgeous grape which is my favorite <laughs> and um i'm going to be using the other dandelion image so i'm going to be using this one i have to change them i have to change these ones into the cling i got those stickers so definitely need to change them because i do like now seeing through so it is this one and um we're gonna be doing kind of the same technique but this time we're going to be using the gorgeous grape and the pool party so um the measurements on this one it's four by three and one quarter hola gordita and this one is four and one eighth by uh three and three eighths um I also have here two scraps. These are uh, three quarters of an inch. The length doesn't matter. I'm actually just need like a little bit. Um, but this one, if you want to know, is like four and one quarter for both of them. Yeah. Oh, this one is smaller. So this might, might be four. Yeah, this is four. And again, I'm only going to need like this much. It's not really, uh, it's not the length. But the width, the width is three quarters of an inch for both. All right, so now for this one, and the gorgeous grape is eight and a half by five and a half. So similarly as the other one, we're gonna go ahead and emboss. So I'm gonna bring here this one, bring the embossing body, uh, and put it all over your paper. Again, this is for it to remove all the static on the paper and ensure that the powder only sticks where the ink is, which is where your Versamark stamps. We're gonna be using Versamark on our image. You just need to make sure it is well, well, well. Hi, Debbie. You just need to make sure it is well inked. No worries. Uh, if you're just joining, you can later on watch the replay. Um, as soon as I'm done, you're going to be able to see the replay. So no worries, Debbie. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to be stamping it. Uh, let's just see, maybe somewhere here. Yeah. And same, you just need to make sure that you're firm. So that the whole image gets well transfer. All right, let me just see. Yep, I can see it. And I'm gonna bring the embossing powder. And all right, then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm going to put it back here. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to remove this and the lid on that one. And so let's bring again the heat tool. It's going to get loud again.
that in. So we have now that. And now for this one, let me bring again the our base again. We're gonna be doing this section with the pool party, and then I'm gonna be doing around with the gorgeous grape. So here we go. Let's start first with this one. And I feel like I need to re-ink this pool party. Oh, close. So I'm gonna go ahead and And again, you want to make it as dark as you want. You just need to make sure that you can see it. And adding that color definitely makes the embossing popped up even more than when you had it all in Whisper White, don't you think? And I feel like this one, it's enough. You could also do this one in watercolor paper. And at some point I thought to do one of those, but I wanted to just make only sponges, but you could also do watercolor paper and then heat embossed this one and then color with watercolor. That also looks amazing, I'm tell you. And so maybe later on I do an, like another video, not today, but maybe another another one with just watercolors because that will be also really nice with the big bold sentiments from this set. Now for this part, I'm gonna be using the Gorgeous Grape. It's the same thing, I have my sponge ready. Like this one is much darker, so. And same as with the other one, I can make it as dark as I want it. Now, this one, I actually do like the blend a little bit more between the blue and the and the purple. Um, because this one doesn't go as, like the other one goes, um, it was turning green. But this one kind of looks nice, don't you think? So... Oh, Jolanda. Okay, so maybe next time I'll do more of the watercolor. There is um on my on this page on my on the Facebook page Creating with Ali, right? The one that you are right now. I have a video of how to watercolor, and I have the girl from I don't remember right now that is Tam said, but um there is one um. One video there on how to watercolor if you are actually like coloring an image. Um, and then probably I'll do another video just to show you how to color the background. Right, how to do different watercolor backgrounds. I think that will be cool. Okay, so maybe next next we'll I'll focus on watercolor backgrounds. Um, but if you're wanting to learn how to watercolor, how to color an image with watercoloring, then definitely watch that video because I go into uh, details of how to color her skin, her hair, her dress, and so definitely um, you can use that one with um, any other image that you have. Yeah, shake it out. All right, so I want a little bit more darker on this section. I'm going to be putting here the sentiment that says let um, the same one that I used in the first one, let your faith. Be, be, be bigger than your fear and so definitely I want to put a little bit more on, of color in this section just making it even darker and 
And I love purple. I don't know if I ever... I think I've said that before. But I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. And definitely this gorgeous grape. Oh, love it. <laughs> yeah, Stampin' Up! Really did it great when they wrote the gorgeous grape. It's a beautiful shade of purple. For sure. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like so, and then again, we're gonna be stamping that sentiment. Same as with the other one, I'm gonna bring the Stamparatus. Um, yeah, let's see, where did I leave the other? Uh, well, yeah, I'm always losing here everything. Like I had it here. Oh, here it is, I'm like, why holy cow. Like I'm always losing everything in my room. So I'm going to be putting it here. Hmm. Let's shrink that sentiment. We're going to be putting it somewhere here. Is that right? No, like so. Yep. All right. Then we're going to bring the memento because I want it in black again. And I love, 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 love this sentiment. Beautiful moments. Thank you, Kathleen. Yes, beautiful moments. I'm like, she's, yeah, I was like, what was the name of that sentiment? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, of that stamp set. Thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, I love that stamp set. It's awesome for uh, watercoloring. You can use your blends as well. And uh, also the watercolor pencils, um, but definitely that one, I just feel like watercoloring with your aqua painters and the ink pads definitely um, makes them look really artistic. At least that's how I feel with those. Um, let me so that's how it looks. Thank you, Kathleen. And so now we're gonna be cleaning this one. I'm just gonna take that one from here. And I'm gonna bring here now this pieces, this one. Um, clearly we need the Taylor Tack Punch. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with both of them. <clears throat> so we're going to be folding this one in half, point to point here, bring one folder. Oh, Teresa, don't worry. There's always, there's always a replay. I'm glad you're here, Teresa. So we're going to be putting this one like so here. Yep. All right. So... We're going to be putting this one's Oh, thank you, Pinky Ruth. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be putting this one right here. We're going to be adding like two of those. And like I said, I only need two pieces, so I'm just going to cut them. It's just too much. Where are my scissors? So I only need picking a little bit. And so, I'm gonna put this one right here. Mm -hmm. I wanted them a little bit like, yeah, I don't want them like, there you go, there we go.
one thing that I've noticed on this uh, on these cards is that I didn't add any. Let me move this one a little bit. I didn't move. I didn't use any dimensionals, which is weird. I always use dimensionals. Oh well, looks really nice right there. And then of course we're gonna be adding that rhinestone and the bow. Oh, thank you, Teresa. You're so sweet. <laughs> We're almost finishing because this is the last car, so I'll show you the other ones right after we're done with this one. All right, we're going to be making the bow. And I just wanted a smaller. There we go. A little bit smaller here. So you just pull and pull until you like it. This one is going to go right there. Perfect. I love it. And we're going to be adding the glue dot. So we have that one right there. Then we're gonna be adding, again, that rhinestone. We're gonna be using the um, Bermuda Bay again. We're gonna be coloring. Again, you do have to be careful. Do not do it like too strong because you don't want to be damaging the, um, All right, what did you ask about the stamp stencil? As you using the regular stamp and seal or the plus I have had. So I actually use the regular stamp and seal. This one though is the Fast Fuse Pinky. Um, I still have a lot, but I just use the one that I bought. I wanted to use it right away. I loved it. Uh, really cool for the seal. I have not used yet the stamp and seal plus. I did. I do have it, but I have not used that one. Uh, the one that I used was the stamp seal, the regular one, and it was amazing. Very happy with it, but I have still like a lot of the fast fuse. So I'm using the fast fuse and I've noticed that it, it fits perfectly and I actually like it better because on my old one, you get all the goo gooey around it and you can see in this one, I have been using it and there's none of it. So definitely using the case, but... The stamp seal was amazing. So yeah, as soon as I deplete all my stash <laughs> of the fast fuse, definitely I'm gonna be using the um, the stamp seal. So it was really good, very happy with it. I still have to get used to a little bit because I've been using the fast fuse for so long now that I still do the little check that you have to do with the with the fast fuse and with the stamp seal, you don't have to. So it's easier to use, but in my mind, because I'm always using the fast fuse, I keep doing that little check that you don't have to do it for um, for the um, seal, but I guess in my mind, I'm still doing it. So um, anyway, so definitely a great, I, I, I'm very happy with the replacement of the, um, of the, uh, what was the other one? Oh my goodness, I already forgot the name. The, whatever we had before, I cannot even remember. <laughs> my mind is so bad right now. I don't remember what was the name of the other one. Um, the other tape runner we had, uh, gosh, I cannot even remember right now. I'm sorry, but yeah, definitely very excited with the new one. So I'm gonna be adding this one. That one, and I'm gonna be adding one here. Boop. There you go. So, see, there we go. This is nail, thank you, Lori. <laughs> oh my goodness, Teresa. Uh, I'm, I don't even know how many I have, but I have one of the large boxes from Stamping Up. And I think it's full. So I have no clue, no clue how many I have there, but still a lot. <laughs> it's still a lot. I just, I mean, I just couldn't part with it. And then they put it on the clearance rack and that made the deal for me. <laughs> so there we go. So these are the cards for tonight. 
One more gem. Yes, I need to put one more. I noticed that because I put that one. I should have done this with purple. And then I decided to change it. But yeah, you're right. It feels like it needs one more, like somewhere here, right? Don't you think? I feel I felt the same way. So I might be putting one more. So you are right. So let's just use that one. Huh. So it keeps getting stuck on your case. I'm not sh I'm not using a lot of pressure. I guess it's the learning curve. Like I said, because I've been using a lot of the fast fuse, you can see that I have not had that issue with this one. Yet with the older case, I had it like all the time. Like I actually had to open it up and clean it because I was getting old. You can see it here. It's still, you can see it was here. So definitely, I guess it's just learning curve. Do not put much pressure because you can see this one. I don't, I don't have anything. And it's with the, um, what is this called? With the fast fuse. So, and that one was also very strong. Yeah, like somewhere here, don't you think? Yes, that way it has three there and one right. Okay, all righty. So there we go. I don't think I'm showing all three cards. Let me just put them here so that you can see them. Um, I feel like lately my screen doesn't take all of them. I don't know why. It used to be really good and nowadays I feel like it drank it or something. I don't know what I did. There we go. There we go. All right. So actually in the order, this is how they went. So definitely different things. These two are the same technique, just different colors. So you just embose and whisper white. And like I said, I think that this will be perfect if you do uh, watercolor too. Uh, in fact, when I was playing, I don't know what I did with the sample. I know I was playing with watercoloring at the beginning. And because um, I think I always share that with you guys. Um, I do watercolor. And then, um, sorry, I do... I don't do the card per se, but I do try to have like, um, like just pieces of it. And I don't know what I did. I know I was playing with watercolors at the beginning and then I decided to go with uh, sponging just because of this one. This is what made the whole thing change. Because at the beginning, everything was going to be watercoloring. But when I saw this sentiment, I decided to make it with the letters and, uh, that's when I change. Okay, it has to be all sponging so that I show all about sponging. <laughs> Hi, Don. Oh, my goodness. Hi to Lenny. <laughs> Hope he's doing well. Thank, thank you. Yeah, Pinky, try that. Make sure you try that. Thank you so much. So um, let me know, like I mentioned, let me know which one do you like the best. I think like my favorite is this one, although this one makes me happy. I don't know. I feel the color combination in this one makes me very happy. But I think this one is my favorite. I love the dimension on this one. I love having those letters. And I am very excited with that new adhesive that we have with the foam adhesive. They're very easy to use. And to my surprise, they cut really well. So, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to be struggling with that. But so far, no issues. So far, it has been really great. So, anyway... Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you being uh, here with me. Did I use uh, Whisper? Yeah, this is regular Whisper White. So it's just Whisper White, the, the regular. You could also use the shimmery, but I don't know if once you sponge, you still see the shimmery, to be honest. I've never done sponging on that one. I would assume you would because there's some shimmery already in the paper, but I've never tried. Now, this will be great if you still have one of that champagne, um, the little, not the, uh, the clear, the, no, it's not the champagne glitter bottle. My goodness, my shimmer paint. Thank you. The shimmer paint. And then just press it. I think those will be really great with this ones. So anyway, thank you so much, Deanne. Bye, Eva. Hope you're doing well. And uh, happy 4th of July to all of you. So thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next week. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if I don't, um, I'll, I'll reply if I don't do it right now. But I'll reply to you because I haven't, I don't think if I went all the way through all of them tonight. But if you have questions, let me know. I'll make sure I reply back to all of you. 
And also, don't forget to be on that mailing list because that's where I share the kind of like the links of these cards, uh, the video tutorials, as well as the supply list and the sketches so that you can play with this later on. So anyway, so thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.